Many of the passengers diverted here 15 years ago had no idea where here was. This new Broadway musical is about to show the world what Gander is all about. If you're a come from away, this is a great place to come. Broadway stars, producers, and some of the original 9-11 passengers are all Newfoundlanders tonight. In 2001, this same legion was full of stranded passengers. I think I wonder about Tana back. It was just one of the community centers, schools, camps, gyms, and churches in the area commandeered to house 6,600 people who arrived when the 9 11 attacks shut down North American airspace. The people here clothed and housed the passengers for a week. But more than that, they took care of them, forming rock-solid friendships. It has been 15 years, you know. Yeah, I know. When yeah, Monica Burke broke her. down on that day, Beulah Cooper gave her a shoulder to cry on and invited her to stay at her house. Monica has been back three times. That's my friend Nancy. She thinks, she thinks Beulah is a rock star now. I think people should hear about this town that basically put their lives on hold for five days take care of people who just came out of the sky. I got a phone call asking me to bring a tray of sandwiches to the Legion. Yeah. Didn't know what for. When I got down there, I was told there was a plane load of people coming in. There was a lot of planes arriving. And I decided to stay, see if I could help out. 28 hours later, I saw my bed. We'd been on the runway, I think, for about only about 11 hours which seems like a long time until you come back and find out other people were stuck there for over a day. When the plane landed at Gander, I said, thank God they're coming here because I know they will be looked after. Everyone in town remembers where they were when the come from away started landing. I'm running my radar when Bonnie comes by. She pulls up and she is waving at me like that. And she's waving. <laughs> Like this. So I put down the window and that's when she said, turn on your radio. And I'm thinking, well, I got my radio on. One is because I'm thinking the police radio. I guess he turned on the radio and heard the news and he was gone. Oh, there's already a cat. <laughs> Coming to Gander to perform means Newfoundland actor Petrina Bromley finally got to meet the woman who inspired her character, SPCA director Bonnie Harris. Well, according to the musical, she said, you're pretty badass. <laughs> Maudie Harris certainly did earn that handle. She convinced security to let her team board the grounded plane so they could clean, feed, and care for cats, dogs, and a couple of rare chimpanzees. And Unger, the rare bonobo chimpanzee, arrived safely at the Columbus Zoo. Soon after, she had a baby, which they named Gander. You had to crawl up in each of the cargo areas of each of the planes. And sometimes there was luggage in front of the animal, so you had to remove the luggage out of the way to get at the animal and trying to clean up uh, the cages and let the dog out of the kennel in this little small cargo area was, was quite difficult. You are going to be okay. Come From Away is not just a musical about giving back. And it's just such a generous thing for the producers to do. It does, that never happens with a Broadway show. They didn't go back to Oklahoma when they made Oklahoma and say, here you are. Here's a story about you. Try it, I'll be a Newfoundlander. Knock, knock, come on in, the door's open. <laughs> Writers David Hine and Irene Sankoff wanted to bring the play here first before taking it to Toronto and then on to Broadway in February. When other people saw a 9-11 musical, we saw a story about community. It's changed our lives, but it inspired us. That's why we uh, that's why we made this because we came back from the stories here. Cast member Gino Carr, who plays Constable Oz Fudge, was blown away by the depth of Gander's goodness. My mother had Alzheimer's, right? and uh, we had to have care for her. Now we had to have. She only had one little bedroom uh, uh, place. 
and the word came out that there was a person in a wheelchair and he needed something to sleep on other than the floor because of his disability. Sure. Yeah. And mother gave up her bed, that bed, uh, what? For, for the passenger. Beverly Bass landed here in 2001 when she was American Airlines' first female captain. She's here in Gander to cheer on actor Jen Colella, who plays her in the musical. I want so many people to see this um, now that we have the energy and the power and the blessing. They got it right, for sure. <laughs> and the people validated that they at did. both shows. That's right. I mean, there was no question. Yes, you know, I'll never sing them. I'm an Islander the same way again, <laughs> honestly. On an island called Newfoundland, there's an airport. And next to it is a town called Gander. Tonight, we honor what was lost, but we also commemorate what we found. What you thought it was, it was this world. Oh my God, I mean, yeah, you just, you're crying one minute and you're clapping and you're dancing. The enthusiastic curtain call signals that the generosity of the people of Gander has struck again and will propel these actors and musicians forward. <laughs> this is my 33rd time to see it. <laughs> I know, and I have to tell you, it was the most emotional one of all. The actors were so into it. <laughs> and they wanted it to be so special for the people of Gander. And, and they did that. They did exactly that. Angela Antle, CBC News, Gander.